But we have to grow in the knowledge of how much he knows us. So, what is this, uh, why does Paul use this kind of language? What is the depth and height and length and width of God's love? That means God's love is infinite, endless, beyond measure, unlimited. He never ran short of his love because he loved the whole world. How many billions of people, even now more than five billion people? To love the five billion people, his love has to be infinite, unlimited. Love unlimited, we can say. God's love is unlimited. Why? We think God only loved us. His love went down to Hades. If you read the Bible, in Peter, he, um, sorry, in Ephesians, I think, he who ascended also descended into the deep parts of earth. What does it mean? I mean, Peter says, Jesus went to the Hades to preach to the spirits who were disobedient at Noah's time, in the Old Testament times. After Jesus was crucified, he told the one thief who confessed to him or accepted him, you shall be with me in paradise. The others who rejected him, disobeyed him, went to Hades or hell. Jesus' love, the depth of his love took him to Hades and preached the good news to the spirits there. Have you read about that? It is in, the, in Peter. Um, First Peter three nineteen. First Peter three nineteen says like this: For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. By whom also? By whom means by the Spirit? He, Jesus, went and preached to the spirits in prison, who formerly were disobedient, when once the divine long-suffering waited, that is in the time of Noah. So Jesus' love, the depth of his love, took him to hell to preach those who died, who once were disobedient to him. The same thing Paul says in Ephesians, I believe, he who ascended is the one who also descended. Why did he descend? Go down into the hell to preach the gospel to them. So God's love is so boundless, infinite. So what can we say? That's why you preach the gospel. That's why it is called good news. If God is not love, it cannot be good news. It should be good news plus bad news. God is only love. Even his anger lasts for a while to correct us, to discipline us, to bring us to him. So let's go with this assurance that God is love and he loves us 100 percent. He can never love you more than he has already loved you. Know that every day. When you are troubled, when you question his love, say that. God can never love me more than he has loved me. He can never forgive you more than he has forgiven you. He, he can never accept you more than He has already accepted you. You have been blessed with all the blessings of heaven and Christ. That's what the Bible says. So, may God bless you with these, with these words. Let's close with a prayer. Hallelujah. If you...